This propulsion system just uses motors in the rear. No, I know. And then they've got just wheels on the front that slide. So you want which way do you want the turbine facing the road? Interesting propulsion system. Simply is two wheels in the back and then friction based on this beam that it rides on in the front. And you'll notice the third motor is used to run an arm on the top. Interesting propulsion system. Very interesting propulsion system. Oh, this goes Let's try, do we need this at all? It's soft. We need it later. Now, the type of propulsion system would help this robot go straight. Now, it's on the bottom of this robot. We've got a light sensor on the front and a light sensor on the back. Two wheels in the front that, ro that make it run. And then the, for the back, it's just dragging on the points. So here's a robot that's implemented with uh, tracks. Why would you guys decide to use the tracks? Can you rotate it upside down so I can see underneath it? Wow, cool. Does it work well? Yes. Good job. We need to get that along the right. Uh, set up the, where's the turbine, this thing, power lines. It's a very complicated robot. Notice that they're using small wheels in the back so the robot tends to go straight. And Vijay, can you help with the three bases? Do you mean the truck? The truck is not in the right place. Thank you, Everett. Oh, yeah, it is. This is a the wheels are supposed to go on the four wheel box. No, this has got rubber tires on the front, no rubber tires on the back. We're going to deliver a whole lot of stuff at once here and get the satellite at the same time. Alright, watch this. Watch one. And you'll notice it runs on four wheels. The bot is a two wheel propulsion with two back wheels that are just sliders with no tires. No. Yeah, we have to. If we took this, the arm and like, put it on the other side, would that help me? No. No. Propulsion system. Good idea. Two wheels. Yeah. Okay. Let's just stop. And you'll notice on this spot the swivel wheel is in the front rather than in the back. Okay. And they have a push sensor mounted at the very front of the bot. And they've used a third motor. This is a real simple bot. Their apparatus, I got a close up there earlier of how it just runs on. Two wheels in the front, very compact bot, a third motor. What we should do is gather all the other ones. On the front, they're just dragging on a couple of points on the front of this. So they've got two big wheels that are apparently geared down. And then she positions the trailer wheel because it's a caster. That trailer wheel has to be positioned correctly before she starts the robot or the trailer wheel could cause the robot to veer one direction or the other. She's got the robot lined up based on the uh, location of this bar to the table. So that was a picture of uh, using location. You can put that in location to set the robot. This robot okay. is using a ball for the third wheel. Oh, that's not going to give you a problem sticking a base? All right. Notice on this one they just have a point at the back of it that it rubs on. Yeah. So a propulsion mechanism. Here's a video of propulsion mechanism. Very simple robot. Two wheels. Yeah. How come it missed the first time? Two motors. So 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 so. Just a 
friction based slide on the back. No, I have to move the trees over. Touch okay. sensor on the front. What? I don't know, but it was over here and it turned this way too hard. Turn it again and it's too hard. Notice these. Yeah, Notice yeah. this robot has. No, you got some of This robot has four wheels and it's very complex. So you can't just try it on a 